Uh, this is my honest review of this small rig cage for the Sony a7 III. I have had it for six years using it professionally as a videographer. I absolutely love this cage and I'm going to tell you a few reasons why. Um, I, I, think, I think there's a lot that's changed since I got this in 2018, um, but this is still a very solid camera cage. Um, let me just put this on the camera. So you do have to remove the lens to put this on. So you just slide this right in there. And then I always just put the lens back on right away to avoid any dust. And then um, on the bottom here, I do wish that this was an Allen, um, Allen key attachment, but pretty much always have coins with us, you know what I mean? So I just use a coin. If you have a screwdriver, obviously that would work too. Um, but let me just adjust the focus here. So this, let me just start by saying that this, um, this cage camera and lens combo has made me well over six figures doing uh, client documentary work. And uh, I never used a, just by the nature of the, um, the nature of the projects, I never used an external monitor for this one for years, for, let's see, four, four years I've been working with this documentary client. Uh, I didn't use an external monitor or anything. I was just using the built-in LCD. I know that would shock a lot of people, but it always worked super well. Um, obviously I've got different attachment points. Um, I would uh, use uh, the Sennheiser lavalier mic into a splitter. Um, I do all this with an FX3 now. I uh, just upgraded a few years ago, but uh, into a splitter into the external mic. Obviously, I would monitor with headphones, so a splitter, lav, and have also a uh, shotgun mic on top. So that's kind of the setup, and this cage allowed that to happen. So I always kept these on here in case I wanted to use a strap at any point. These I never had on there, but now I don't uh, have it on the cage all the time. Um, just so many mounting points. I mean, it's just kind of wild. So many mounting points for you to rig this out however you need. And then this top handle by Camvate is the one that I always used as well. Um, it always works super well for me. I think the top handle is really funny. You just really get used to the one that you use a lot. It took me a long time to get used to the Sony FX3 top handle, XLR top handle. Um, and just being able to slide this on and the NATO work on this. slide this on and off super easily is really nice um, when you're breaking this kit down basically um, in your bag. But this cage, super great. You've got a cold shoe here. I mounted this and I, I've never taken this off since I mounted it. And uh, yeah, you can just rig it however you need to rig it. And it just works really well. Um, obviously with the A7 III, there's only one mounting point. So I will say that after, you know, an eight hour day of handheld shooting with this thing, it could loosen up a little bit, but there's really no avoiding that um, because it is just the one mounting point because this camera body doesn't have any other mounting points built in like you would see in like an FX3 or something. Um, I absolutely would recommend this cage. It's gotten so many uses and made me so much money over the years that, um, yeah, I can't not recommend it. There are a lot of different cage options, so I think it really depends on what kind of system you're using or like what quick what quick release and attachment points you're using and different things. Um, but I think this is a really great option.